Assalamu alaikum, um, my name is Dr Bilal, I'm a consultant cardiologist uh, working at Blackpool Hospital um, and I'm currently self-isolating. I've had symptoms for the last um, six days of a, a new cough um, and flu-like symptoms over the last couple of days. Um, and I'm making this video really as an update on um, coronavirus and I've got three main messages. Um, first is why are health professionals like myself extremely concerned regarding this health crisis? The second is what symptoms um, should you, um, do you need to self-isolate in? And the third is some advice to our um, massage committees. So coronavirus is a, a small virus which is um, spread by droplets, it's airborne, so if I have it and I cough and I cover my hand and then I shake somebody else's hand and they touch their face and they inhale it, then you can catch it like that or if I have it and it goes onto a surface and somebody else touches that surface and then they touch their mouth, they can get it, so it's airborne. One person will infect three people, therefore it spreads very, very rapidly. On the whole, most people, of those tested, 80% will be fine, no serious illness and they'll be able to be managed at home. 20% will be admitted into hospital with a severe illness. Of them, 20%, a quarter of them will need intensive care bed and will be severely unwell. So most people do well. The ones that don't do well are the older people who've got chronic health, or the others that have chronic health conditions, diabetes, heart problems, breathing difficulty, if you're on immunosuppressive treatment, treatment for cancer, for example, these is the group at risk. But why, you know, so why are we so bothered about it? You know, there's flu, there's illnesses that affect many people and cause deaths. There's a reason why, you know, on the front line, we are extremely concerned. This is the biggest crisis facing the NHS since the NHS was created. And really this graph will explain why. Okay, so this is a graph. These lines represent people who need intensive care from coronavirus. The red line is the number of intensive care beds that we have. If you let the virus just spread and you don't slow it down, you soon find you run out of intensive care beds pretty quickly. According to our estimations, that's in around sort of three to six weeks time in the UK. If you slow it down, you get to a place where you can slow it down and you maintain capacity for your intensive care beds. So that's the big concern that we've got. We have to slow it down. If we don't slow it down, we'll be in the situation Italy finds themselves in today, where doctors on the front line are having to decide who they allow treatment for and who they don't. And the ones that don't are the older people. So over 65 is the same, we're sorry, we can't put you on ventilation. We can't give you treatment. Younger patients are still getting the treatment. Us on the front line, we do not want to find ourselves in that same situation in a few weeks down the line. So we were very pleased when the government introduced new measures a couple of days ago for social distancing to help slow the spread down. But we have to do what we can as a community to assist in slowing the spread down. Because otherwise, you know, we're facing a calamity of lack of intensive care beds. And it will also find that the young person will also be affected because if a young person needs an intensive care bed for any other reason, but if they're all full with coronavirus, unfortunately, we will not be able to provide the treatment. And there's a huge lack of ventilators and intensive care beds in the NHS. So we have to do everything possible to allow the health system to cope. Otherwise, it's gonna collapse. Symptoms. If anybody develops a new persistent cough or a temperature, they should self-isolate. Self-isolate for seven days you live on your own or 14 days you live with other members in your household. Extremely important. Do not go to your doctor. You only need to dial 111 if you've got severe symptoms, feeling as though you may need to go to hospital. Otherwise, self-isolate. And the third message really is to our uh, massage committee. Now, as a health professional, it's my duty, it's my furs, it's my obligation to advise you of what I think is the right thing to do in these very difficult times. As a doctor, I am telling you that this is health crisis is severe. We have to do everything possible to slow the spread down. If you don't slow the spread down, you hit that red line, lack of ITU beds, people are going to die. There is no doubt about this. We've seen it happen all different parts of the world and we are preparing for this here already. We're preparing for a massive increase in the number of deaths because of lack of capacity. Therefore, it's extremely important everybody makes an effort to slow the spread down. I strongly advise all the massages to suspend all activities. I will be criticized for this, but I have to speak now. If I don't speak now and, you know, people make the decisions and afterwards I will regret it if we're in the situation where I have to decide which patient we're going to treat and which one we are not going to treat, which is coming just around the corner. Younger people have very few symptoms, but they can easily spread it on. So now's the time for strong leadership. I strongly advise, people have spoke to me, other massage members have spoke to me, committee members have spoke to me, I've given them my advice, but now I'm sending this down, the, I'm sending this out to everybody there. And it's my obligation to advise you of what I think is the right thing to do. If we make these measures and 
you slow the spread down, you might turn around and say, huh, there was no need, look, nothing's happened. Alhamdulillah, good. If we don't slow the spread down and we're in the situation where I'm turning people away, saying I'm sorry and telling their family members, I'm sorry, we can't treat you, these people are going to die. We do not want to find ourselves in that situation. Yes, everything comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, we must take measures. You know, you have to tie your camel. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may he make it easy for everyone in this very difficult time. Wa ma alayna illa al